Leonardo AI just launched more powerful new features. Craft characters that stay consistent, scene after scene. Train your own model for unique artistic styles. This can all be a bit overwhelming, especially for beginners. But fear not, I've got you. This tutorial will walk you through everything you need to know. Feel free to skip forward to the new feature chapters if you're already a pro. Otherwise, stick around so you can finally master the interface and start making the most of this amazing AI tool, the main page. Click here to return to the home screen at any time. The best features are displayed in the top center. Your active tokens are displayed at the top left. Recent creations from the community are displayed below. Clicking on your username will display a menu where you can create a team, payment required, access account settings, or logout. 1. Personal Feed This space is where any images you've personally created are stored, unless you permanently delete them. Alongside your own generations, you can also view those from creators you follow or images you've liked from the community. Just like the community feed, you can filter generations by trending, new or top, view by category and search using the search bar. Note, images edited in the Canvas editor are not stored in your personal feed. 2. AI Tools Image Generation The core of Leonardo.ai Here you can generate new images and bring your vision to life. We will be breaking down all the features in detail. Motion Motion, this powerful tool lets you add animation to your creations, breathing life into your static images. Here we have a stunning image of a wolf under a full moon. But with the motion tool, we get this awesome dolly zoom effect. Or how about adding motion to flames in a fiery image? It's easy to use too. Just choose the motion feature on the home screen, upload your image or select one of your generations, and then adjust the settings to control the movement and strength of the animation. Quick tip. Always go with values below 5. Otherwise, Leonardo trips out and goes a little crazy. So next time you create an image, think about adding a touch of motion to take your visuals to the next level. I'll be showcasing more creative uses of the motion tool later on. So, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't joined the AI party already. Real-time canvas. Sketch and watch your drawings. Transform into finished pieces in real-time. Real-time gen. Type and watch as your image is generated in real-time, according to the prompt you enter, all at no token cost. Like a result? Refine it using the upscale option. Costs 8 tokens. Canvas Editor. A dynamic image editing tool. Take charge of post-production and put the finishing touches on your images. For a deep dive on how to use it, hang around until the end. Universal Upscaler. Creatively upscale your generated images or uploaded images from your device with the upscale feature. 3. Advanced Tools. Fine-tuned models. Browse a gallery of pre-trained models that create different types of images. Hand-pick your favorites based on the descriptions to bring your ideas to life. As well as the official models, you can also search community-created models and view those you've trained yourself. There's something for nearly every style and effect, and an almost limitless choice to get you creating. Training and data sets. Train your own image generation model with this powerful tool. Switch between existing data sets, edit them, and monitor progress to see how your training is going. A detailed guide on training models is coming soon. Texture Generation Add context-aware textures to your 3D models. Upload your model, currently supporting OBJ files, and create next-gen assets in moments. Note, this feature is in alpha, and a guide to how to use it is pending, but I'll keep you updated. Getting started. How to use the settings and features of the AI Image Generation Tool. The AI Image Generation Tool is located on the left of the homepage. Selecting this will take you through to the area where you can create images and assets. There are various features and tools to take advantage of. Prompt Assist. Located on the right of the image, this fun and useful feature allows you to effectively roll the dice and have the platform create a random and unique prompt for you. In addition, 
You can use the same tool to improve your own prompts for better model understanding, providing it's under 200 characters. For more help on understanding prompt structure, there's a beginner's guide to prompting video coming soon. Prompt Magic V3. This feature significantly improves prompt adherence and enhances image composition when combined with any model on the platform. Prompt Magic V2 can be found within the sidebar, while Prompt Magic V3 can be found in the Alchemy settings when Alchemy is enabled. High contrast is active when Prompt Magic is turned on and produces increased contrast and shadow in the output images. The options controls the intensity of its influence on the output, allowing you to experiment and achieve different results. I recommend using options low and medium for optimal results. Prompt Magic V2 is available for free users, whereas V3 is a premium version that is usable in conjunction with Alchemy. Photo Real. Photo Real represents an iconic feature within the Leonardo AI suite, offering a sophisticated image creation pipeline. This feature specializes in generating highly realistic visuals, suitable for a range of applications including cinematic scenes and authentic looking portraits. Depth of Field. This controls the depth of field of the image, effectively how much is in focus. At lower values, more of the image will appear soft or blurry. At higher values, the image will have a wider focal range, and more of it will be in focus. Experimentation with this option can yield unique and engaging results. Presets Choose from a list of presets, such as cinematic, creative, and vibrant, each with their own unique influence on the generated output. Leonardo Alchemy V2 is the latest version of the celebrated signature 2D image pipeline, which enables incredibly high fidelity image generation and coherence for SDXL models. Alchemy V2 not only improves prompt adherence and image coherence, it allows for prompt weighting, not available for negative prompts, making it the preferred choice of tool on the platform. Please note that Alchemy is a premium feature reserved for paid plans. Alchemy Settings Alchemy V1 is still available for Stable Diffusion 1.5 and 2.1 models, and comes with several settings to experiment with. Here's an explanation of the various settings and options. High Resolution This boosts the output resolution of Alchemy. High resolution outputs differ from normal outputs due to a unique diffusion process. It's not simply an upscaler, it can increase the quality of images, but it might lower prompt adherence. Elements. Elements offers users the ability to finely tune the style and details of images using a mix and match implementation of dynamic style modifiers. Located just below the image prompt bar, you can activate elements and choose up to four that are compatible with the selected model, producing unique and customized artwork with an almost infinite amount of range and versatility. It is important to note that not all elements work with all models. Those that can't be used will be either grayed out or not shown. Image Guidance This vast upgrade to the popular Control Net feature is designed to refine image style and composition with greater precision using reference images as a base. It introduces a large suite of new baked-in tools, including multiple image uploads, independent weighting, and simultaneous use of up to four control net options for premium users. Image Guidance has multiple pipeline features that create unique and varied results on produced images, such as depth, edge, line art, normal map, pattern to image, pose to image, and QR code to image, among others. Using image guidance is easy and straightforward. It can be activated by selecting the option next to generation history below the prompt bar and uploading a primary image. Note that some image guidance options and the use of multiple reference images requires a premium subscription plan. Image dimensions. This is where you can choose various sizing options for the images created, using either pre-selected dimensions, an aspect ratio selector, or a slider tool for width and height if you want a more unique scale. It is important to note that certain models are trained at preset dimensions and can produce unwanted results if used for dimensions outside of this. A yellow warning sign will appear if the size is incorrect, 
whilst a star will be placed on the optimal ratio for the trained model. Leonardo's tip. With alchemy, it is possible to generate images with enlarged deviation of dimensions from the model's preset dimension, with less worry of unwanted results. Guidance scale. You can choose between low, medium, and high. It dictates how heavily the words used in prompting are weighted in creating the final result. It's important to note that guidance that is too high or too low can result in unwanted aspects of a generated image. I advise between 7 to 9 for the best results, but you should experiment to find what works best for you. Tiling. This option is great for those wanting to create textures, such as walls or floor tiles, and as such is ideal for environmental aspects in video game assets. Other possible applications include patterns for prints, and as in pattern for wallpapers on your devices. Public images. Users with paid subscriptions have the ability to make their images private or public. Any images kept private remain the sole property of the creator, while those that have been shared publicly can be used by both other users and Leonardo AI in any capacity. Please note that users cannot switch an image from public to private or vice versa once it has been created. With the exception of recent generations in the AI image generation page via the context menu. And that this feature is reserved for subscribed users only. That's a whirlwind tour of some amazing new and classic features in Leonardo AI. With all the updates and interface changes, it can be tough to stay ahead of the curve. But that's where I come in. I spend hours exploring the latest AI tools, testing them out, and bringing you the most important parts. The good news is, I'm already working on in-depth Leonardo feature tutorials. These will delve deeper into specific tools, provide use case examples, and guide you through the more technical beta features. I'm here to make learning Leonardo AI as easy as possible for you. So, let me know how I can help. Leave your comments below. What features do you want to see covered next? How can I improve these tutorials for you? I hope you enjoyed this video. For a comprehensive guide to mastering AI tools, check out the AI Tools Masterclass series. Catch you on the next one!